What's going on guys? Welcome to the first episode of Manga Nuchi Monday. Uh, we've done all the fights in the anime. It's time to check out some of the fights from the manga. Uh, you guys have been asking for this forever. I know there's a ton of fights the anime has not gotten to. I've never read a manga before. I've never watched an MMV or a manga music video. You guys might have seen them uh, around on YouTube. So you guys send me a couple of links. Today, we're going to be checking out the fight between Itagaki Manabu and Seiki Takuma, the two speed stars going at it. I didn't want to start off with too big a fight because I don't know how this is going to go. Uh, but, you know, we're all along for the ride together. It should be a good fight. And hey... If it works, there are a ton more fights that we can look forward to. Anyway, guys, I'm a little nervous. I don't know. I'm excited to check this one out. Um, I hope that you guys are too. We're all along for this ride together. Let's go. All right. We've got Itagaki in the change room looking good. Just do as you've trained. You'll do well. Take it easy first, just feel him out. Eight rounds, okay, yeah. So you definitely have a few rounds to kind of feel him out there. Okay, so Itagaki wants to go for Ippo's KO time. He wants to knock him out faster than Ippo. Because he doesn't get to fight Ippo for the belt, so he's got to compete against him some other way. It is so much hype being in the back room there before the fight. It's so much fun. In the blue corner, Itagaki Manabu charging in. One of the most closely watched fighters in the tournament, the young rising star enters with his typical energy, rushes down the path and springs up to the top of the corner post. Itagaki! And he's got the Itagaki pose up in the top rope there. And then we got Seiki, the speed star, rocking his, uh, his leopard print shorts. Jumps over the rope, soars through the air and into the ring. Who will be proclaimed the true king of speed kings after this? The speed star versus Itagaki. Itagaki is based on Sugar Ray Leonard as well, who's known for having prodigious speed, being one of the fastest boxers ever. Wait for it. Focus, focus. There's the bell. They're off. Time for this high speed battle to kick off. Both of them kicking off the feet. They're using that footwork to get away from each other, making some distance. Tagaki on the back foot. When I concentrate, I create a kind of zone inside of myself. But my opponent moves in slow motion. He's got that, like, bullet time. They can't believe he ducks out of Seiki's vision. Man, this is happening really fast. <laughs> This is almost more intense than the, uh, the anime because everything happens so quickly. Without feeling all too well. Oh man, Seiki can keep up. That's where Seiki lives though, man. That speed zone. Oh, I wonder how Itagaki's going to cope with this, man. It reminds me of uh, in Dragon Ball Z when Berta thought he was the fastest one in the whole universe and then Goku like... Evades him without even looking like he's moving. Oh, that was sick. This is going to be good. Two speed stars going at it. Never before has this happened. A time-space invader. <laughs> this is his way of saying hello. All right, we're next chapter. Oh, Itagaki's got that, that hitman, that flicker jab going on. Oh, Seki, yeah, just leans out of the way. Itagaki's not gonna touch him. Seiki with the flicker jabs, Itagaki with the head movement. Just trading, neither of them landing a clean shot, just missing. Oh. These guys, yeah, these guys just going wild. It's crazy when guys can operate at this speed. Be that slick this fast, it's just beautiful. Not everyone can do that. The Hedgehog, is that Itagaki's special move? Like a jab, a jab flurry? Oh no, right, left, right, left, right. Okay, so he's just firing off rights and lefts at just insane speeds. How many punches does this kid? He's not gonna stop, man, it's a Hedgehog. Eesh. Exactly, Seiki has not been hit by a single one yet. Also, he holds his breath and does it. 
That's weird. Why on earth would you hold your breath? Normally when you're punching, you want to be inhaling and exhaling, right? It braces your core, gets your body moving with it. If you're kind of not braced here, you're loose, your body's a bit uh, disjointed and broken, and you don't quite get the connection between your punches here. I don't know why he kind of held his breath there. Now it's Sayaki's turn. Comes those big left hands. Not a single right thrown by Sayeki yet, though. Oh, he's seeing Mashiba. Okay, he sees the flicker jab with Mashiba because he was sparring with Mashiba before this, right? Itagaki comes out to the left. Oh, nice uppercut there from Sayeki. Oh. Man, the panels are flashing by fast. <laughs> Both of them are thinking the same thing. More flickers. It voice of yeah, not gonna hit uh, Itagaki, not after sparring with Mashiba. He wants that right hand. Itagaki's known as a, a genius talent, right? In the show in uh, the show and the anime. He's known as a genius talent, just like Sugar Ray. Oh. Oh still Seiki with the left hands. Now I'm having fun. It's so much fun when you find that person that can push you like that. Dancing around. All right. He's going like gear first, gear second. He's channeling his Luffy. Second gear, third gear. He's revving up. Fourth gear, fifth gear. Top Gear, all right, here we go. Big people, he's so far away though. It's so funny, like normally when you change that angle like that, you wanna be in close, because your, your opponent's eyes can follow you if you're moving from far away, right? Because you don't cover as much distance as quickly. Normally when you take those little angles, you wanna do it from like right in close. So you're here and then all of a sudden you just, you disappear and they can't track you with the eyes. They kind of have to take that second to follow you. But Itagaki's so fast, he just does it all the way around the ring. He still doesn't think Sayeki can keep up, but... Dude, he's underestimating Sayeki for sure. He's not called the speed star for nothing. Just how fast can these two go? They seem to be moving quicker by the instant. They're gearing up, man. They're revving up. He's maintaining the same distance from each other like bigger skaters. It's almost like they're chained together. I mean, this is what Seiki does, and he's been doing it longer than Itagaki, too. <laughs> he doesn't want them to think uh, that they're the same level. I want to see this animated, dude. This would be beautiful. Full throttle, who will have to? Oh, dear, don't blink or you'll miss it is right. The hands just keep on flying. Have any of them really landed a clean shot yet? I don't think so. And we're still in the first round. Normally you need a couple rounds to warm up. I feel like Itagaki doesn't do his best when he's super focused though, right? I feel like he needs to relax. And just let things kind of happen. Doesn't get to in his own head. Seiki's in his head though. He's messing him up. He's never had anyone that could keep up. Oh, there's the bell. Both fighters slam on the brakes. All right, we made it through the first round. No punches landed. But some crazy footwork. Yeah, Itagaki's never been pushed like this before with someone with some speed. All right, second round begins. Here we go. And this is uh, five years after Seiki's fight with Ippo as well. He's been around for a long time. There's those flicker jabs again. He's gonna try and get in close. Yeah, Itagaki fires off. Seiki weaves through it. Seiki closes the distance. The referee can't even keep up. They're behind the referee now. There's that right hand. The first right hand from Seiki of the fight. Oh... No, no way, man. Yes, there's that left hand. You can see it coming. There it is. Yeah, the big left hand, the sway, that check hook with the left there. You can't expect anything slow from Seiki. Yeah, he's in it. 
Oh, now he's now he's got him biting on the face. This is a bad way to be. Yeah. That's one thing that uh, gets you in trouble with the head movement, right? Is if I know that if I throw this punch, you kind of lean this way. I can throw my punch and throw it to where I know your head's going to be. That's why when you're fighting, your head movement, if you're going to do it, it has to be unpredictable. That's why uh, you'll see boxes, they'll... They just keep moving. They don't kind of dodge one. They're dodging one, dodging the next, dodging the next, dodging the next, right? Because if you just dodge the one, you know that next one is coming. In Muay Thai, we don't do as much head movement because if you bring your head out, you're going to get kicked. Okay, there's always that opportunity in Muay Thai to get your head just taken off with the kick. But in boxing, you get away with it because you're side on a little bit more. That bladed stance gives you much more freedom with the head movement and you're not worried about that shin. There it is, fake with a left, big right hand. Can't tell both of them are coming. Itagaki gets his head popped up. Sayaki's getting, this is where the experience comes in, right? Itagaki's getting the best of him with uh, with this now. Hits Itagaki with a big right, sends him flying on the back foot. Comes in, big loopy left hook. Ducks underneath it, oh, uppercut, it lands too. Oh, Seiki just laying the smack down on him. It's not it's not because he's necessarily faster. He's just more experienced. He's got Itagaki thinking. He's got him scared. Nibble defense seems to have crumbled. He's lost. Yeah, he's not using the hands as a defense here. And that's what you'll see with a lot of guys that like this kind of style where they're you know, they're speedy, they use their head movement, they're evasive. They don't normally have their hands up too high like you always teach beginners, right? You always teach beginners hands up nice and tight just because they can't do this sort of stuff. But when you see fighters getting more experienced and they develop this evasive, slick style, generally the hands come down because then they're a bit more free to kind of throw punches from these weird angles while they're moving around. And that's why they both have these low hands and they can get away with it. Since a lot of lefts were getting thrown, Itagaki started to move clockwise. Yeah, trying to come to the outside of the left hand. And then there you go. He knows that Itagaki's trying to maneuver around him. So he throws that right hand out where he knows Itagaki's going to be. While he's dodging the right, he lands the left. That's what I was talking about, right? Left after left. Itagaki's nailed again. I like how he has like his teammates on his shoulders hearing what they say. That absolutely does not happen. <laughs> You don't think when you're in there, really. Unless you're really experienced, then you can slow down and think. But generally, you're just swinging. Good. Big left hand from Sayaki. Big punch. Impact is obvious. Itagaki staggers. His legs are out from underneath him. Oh, the bell is rung. I thought he was stopping the match, too. Oh, man. Itagaki's got to be upset. He knows where Ippo was at this point. Even there, he looks so much worse for wear. Third round, no. Sayeki just laying the beat down back on him again. No, he thought he was in, got hit with the left. Oh, here comes Sayeki. I don't know how much longer I can keep moving. If that's the case, then... Oh, the Ali shuffle! So, uh, Sugar Ray Leonard and Muhammad Ali were both trained by the same coach. Uh, which is actually really, really cool that he's using a Muhammad Ali move and a Sugar Ray Leonard move. Uh, and he's based on Sugar Ray Leonard, I should say. There we go. Told to do what you can to try and have fun. He's doing it again, back with the, uh, the Ali shuffle. Goldfish, Hawk, Krill. Oh, he's playing like a little uh, name game. Okay, he's trying to relax. He's getting out of his own head. Good, and now he's starting to flow a little bit. Yeah. Nabberlek? What the hell is a Nabberlek? What's this? Something's weird here. I'm plenty calm, but he's got that Ali shuffle. He's moonwalking. So it's, uh, it's the Itagaki shuffle. Game over, kid. Sayaki's got him in the corner. Ducks inside of it. Ducks underneath. Pulls the head back. 
Stays in the corner and gets out of the way of the three punches. And Sayeki hits the corner, hits the turnbuckle. Somehow Itagaki gets behind him. He's just running now. Back to center ring. Keeps Sayeki against the corner. Got the feet moving. Anchovies. Angler. Thought I had that. Bass. Scarp. All right. He's disappeared. Oh, this looks familiar. Sayeki can't keep up. This looks very familiar. Big body shot to the liver. And he's gone again. It's just hit and run tactics now from Itagaki. Couple big body shots. He's le legitimately just moonwalking. Left or right, which will he come with? He's got Sayeki second guessing now. He's reached that uh, that flow state, and again, he just disappears. It's just like when Ippo fought Sayeki, except it was Sayeki who was disappearing. Oh, the shitty toddy strategy is currently underway. Body shot. Sayeki ducks against the ropes. Itagaki chases him down. Little rope a dope. Man, the panels are changing so fast. It's so intense. Yeah, he has to keep going low. He can't sway out of the way of the body punches. There he is, low. There's the body shot. Oh, man, the way he's moving around is beautiful. And going to the body, too, takes so much out of you. It takes that speed away. It takes that footwork away. Now he's got the body going, not just the feet. Knees, toes, eyes, shoulders, elbows, everything's going. This is the Itagaki shuffle. He's not even looking. He's got that, like, thousand-mile stare. Yeah, he's not even thinking now. There's that body shot again. He drops. Is Seiki down? He drops him. Oh, just leans back. Just manages to sway back out of the way of that body shot. Talking to his legs. There he is again. He's on that weird angle. And Itagaki comes down, lands clean with that right hand. Nope, never mind. Bell sounds, dual exchange. Oh, end of the third. Okay, so Ipo was two minutes, 12 seconds into the fourth round. Itagaki is desperate to beat that. All right, focus, focus, focus time now. Okay. Starting off with the shuffle. Yeah, he's got back to top gear. Sayaki's legs are starting to give out a bit. He is a vet. Oh. Sayaki's hands came up a little bit tighter. He's tightening the guard. Itagaki's gone again. Big smash on that guard. There he is, sees him. Both fighters utilize the entire ring. They circle around, exchanging blows. Left, he's behind Itagaki this time. And he's just, yeah, he's, oh, back to the body from Itagaki and then duck out. It's back to those hit and runs. Come in, hit the body, get away. Come in, hit the body, get away. Now he's gone. Oh, poor Sayaki, man. There it is again, those weird dance steps. Itagaki leans on his knees. Sayaki moves in. Itagaki comes in with the hands down. Hits him with that hedgehog. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Lifts the chin up. Throws that counter back. Itagaki sways. Ducks underneath, comes in. Oh, those are some vicious looking eyes. Big, big right hand counter. Left hand, uh, hit him with that cross counter. Sayaki threw that jab. He slipped his head to the outside and hit that left overhand there. Now he's done the same thing. The step with the head to the outside of that cross. Lands that right hand over. He's just getting a counter for everything. Sayaki is receiving a punch for every single one that he's throwing. Yeah, there's that hedgehog, just left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. I won't take it to an infight. This is a match. Yes, yeah, stay out. This is where Itagaki does his best work. He's gone. Oh. Yes, Sayaki lands! Yes, Sayaki lands the counter! 
I've always loved Seiki. He's my type of fighter, just because he wears leopard print. I have leopard print shorts too. Oh, just exchanging blows, counter for counter. Lands even. The footwork switches from dodging to hitting. Oh, both of them landing clean. They're just standing and trading now. This is just phone booth fighting. Itagaki staggers, Seiki charges in. Oh, Itagaki slips it, lands that again. That big left hand counter slips outside the jab. That big left overhand. Seiki's on shaky ground, trading again. Oh, except Seiki's not landing at all. Yeah, there it is again, slip inside, big right hand. He's not getting out of the way of that. He hasn't got that Date neck roll. Oh. No, slips outside of it. Hits him with that right on the way through. He's up, he's staying up. That's all the more reason to fight back. I won't let him have the title of Speed King. Come on, Seiki. Oh. Yeah, he's been known as the Speed Star his whole career. And this young upstart comes in to try and take his, take his title. There's those big lefts from Seiki. Itagaki with the crazy head movement. Here he comes. He's got to try and move with the feet, but his legs are going to be given out underneath him. From all those body shots from Itagaki, they've got to be adding up by now. Big smile on his face. What? Okay, Lance. No. He got hit. He's just getting beat up now. As in, maybe he could beat Ippo. Everyone always comes back to each other. Oh! He's down. Two. Three. Is he getting up? He's climbing up. Yes! This isn't over. I can't let it end like this. Up he gets. Oh, I'm getting chills, man. This is crazy. Talking to his legs like they're his best friends. Well, can you go on? Yeah, he can. He's got the hands up tight. The guard's back. Come on, Seiki. Let's go, buddy. Veteran steps forward, propelled by pure grit. Stumbles. Left hand's coming in. Lands a clean two off the slip from Seiki. Lands that chopping right. Did Seiki get underneath it? Oh, he's on the toes. He's going to lose his balance. He tried to like lean back, comes in. Falls on the referee. The referee calls it. Oh, Seiki. Oh, Itagaki Manabu ascends to the throne of the Speed King. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. I wasn't sure how this was going to go. Watching the manga and everything else, it not being animated, I wasn't sure. I've heard fantastic things about the manga. I just wasn't sure how it was going to go. Oh, man. My heart is racing. I'm on the edge of my seat. That was crazy. Damn. I... Guys, you got to let me know what you thought. If this was as fun for you as it was for me. If you guys would like to keep on doing these uh, MMVs and stuff with me. As long as I can keep on finding them and finding fights from the show uh, or from the, from the manga. Please let me know if you enjoyed it. And we will definitely, definitely keep it up. Oh, I'm just kind of... Oh, I'm coming down from that... Uh, from that match right now that would be a crazy one to see animated anyway guys if you did leave a like comment down below let me know if there's you know ways we can improve it maybe i could slow down the panels a little bit i could try to slow them down uh let me know what you thought let me know if you'd like to do some more and as always make sure to subscribe so when we get around to doing more of the fights that you want to see you don't miss out till next time stay awesome have a great day Bye.